I didn't think I'd find any scammers here in Northeast India. So I was busy filming a market tour here in the largest female run market in the entire world. And then this guy comes up to me and asks me to start filming him. See what happened. TK, tell us your story. I am blind. Okay. Yeah. Then? I don't think you're blind because you saw me. Uh, I'm suffering from uh, three months operation, eye operation. Oh, okay. Uh, to, down here, uh, double operation. I see, I see. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, two good. Two months yeah. later. Okay. I, uh, so many medicines. Yes. Doctor prescribed me. Yes. I I cannot uh, uh, purchase. Yeah, I know. I don't want to take your photo. You're trying to get money from Man, me. <laughs> this, this one. Yes. Uh, my photo. Yeah, what? That is go, go to America. Yes, America. Huh? Huh? Yes. America. Yeah, America. New York. New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank okay, you, I gotta go. Bye, bye, bye. Okay, so that guy, he came up to me in the market and he asked me to take his photo. I'm like, okay, yeah. And then he starts telling me his story about how he's blind and he needs medicine. And then he starts pulling out his prescription. And this is classic, I need money for my prescription scan. He's not blind. He has that typical prescription which people will show you here in India and just say, I need money for it. He's still following me. Please help me some. Yeah, yeah. See what, see what happens. For medicine. You told me, you t he, t he told me he's blind. But he's following me still, so. I cut that guy off straight away because I was busy filming a market tour. Didn't really expect to be filming a scam video there. Anyway, as soon as they pull out their little prescription from their top pocket, you know it's a scam and you know they're gonna ask you for money. This is exactly how the scam runs. And the fact that the guy kept following me afterwards to show me his prescription, yeah, there's no doubt about it. It was a scam and this guy's just trying to prey on Western sympathy, I guess you would call it. So guys, don't fall prey to these sad stories. These are all invented stories and I've actually seen foreigners posting these stories online, filming the people, believing them, giving them money and posting it online. It's like, oh, look what I did. I supported this guy and his sad story, but it's just a scam, usually. And you know, he's only approaching foreigners like me. He's not going up to other Indians and asking for money because they know he's full of it and they know he works here every day trying to scam foreigners out of money with his, his lies. And it's really sad to people who actually need the money, people who are actually sick and who actually need the aid and the help. He's making a mockery of them and making it so no one else believes somebody when they actually do need the money from people, when they do actually need charity. So yeah, watch out for these guys, they're all over India. This isn't just a thing in Manipur. So when someone approaches you here and starts telling you their sad story, nine times out of 10, it's a totally fake story and they're just trying to scam you. And it's really hard to know when they're telling the truth. But when they start pulling out their prescription to show you like how much the medication costs and all, that's when you know it's a complete scam. As soon as I hear the word prescription, I'm like, Oh, this again, my God. Leave me alone, go away. And then they just start following you. And they keep following you and you, that's when you know it's a total scam. They're not a normal person. They're not a sick person. They're just trying to scam you guys. And if you're worried about traveling in India, I've written a quick start safety guide available at indiasurvivalguide.com. And this guy is, you don't need it. You're Indian, you know how to live and how to deal with life here, right? But us foreigners don't. India is difficult for new people to India. So check out my guide at indiasurvivalguide.com. Hey, what's your name? Orak. Where are you from? Where are you from? Very good boy. Very good boy. Okay. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. And subscribe. Karo. Subscribe. Yes, that's it. That kid was so damn cute. He couldn't even say subscribe, girl. Wow, I love him.